Alright guys, welcome back to another video today. It is September 7th, it's a Friday, and it is the day before Washington's General Elk Season opener. My brother and I, we're about to head up the mountain, hike in a few miles, set up camp, everything's loaded, everything's ready to go, and basically we're gonna go and basically just sit in my water hole. That's the primary plan. Uh, I still do have tr two trail camps set up over there from this past summer so um, those two trail camps will definitely give us a lot of info about the activity that's been going on around the water hole. Um, maybe later tonight we'll we'll try to bugle and just see if see what elk's around, where they are, kind of how high they are, wh where they kind of are and stuff like that. Uh, I just shot my bow a couple times just to make sure that everything's dialed in and I'm just gonna say if I miss that's completely on my my part. My bow is dialed in we we're ready to go so yeah got my exo loaded up got the range finders to go binoculars water food we're pretty much ready to go so uh, we're just gonna quickly you know do the final parts of what we need to do here and then we're gonna head up the mountain so uh, stick along hopefully we arrow a bowl tomorrow and we'll see if we see anything tomorrow or get anything done <laughs> You guys can see we finally made it to our camping spot and by the time we already got up here I swear I've already gotten like 10 mosquito bites so then uh, if we still have daylight left we can perhaps glass glass that mountainside over here and glass this one over here but tons of mosquitoes so I'm gonna cool down real quick real quick and start putting on the long sleeve start gearing up for our day tomorrow that way we don't get any more mosquito bites so Alright, good morning guys. Today is officially September 8th. It is almost 7 o'clock in the morning. As you guys can see, the sun's already hitting, so we are obviously late. But this morning was an epic fail. So, you guys can see, uh, we kind of had to tear down our tent and lay out everything so that it can dry. Because yesterday, this unexpected thunderstorm just came flying in like at midnight. So we had to wake up in the middle of the night and just put the tarp over our tent because it was actually just left white like no tarp so we could see the stars we were pretty much drowning when we were sleeping so everything's all wet my socks all wet I'm just wearing wet socks right now but we're gonna head over um hopefully that thunderstorm doesn't like scare the elk away from the water hole simply because it's a lot cooler but uh, we're gonna head over there and just see what we can see we also have trail cams over there so uh, that should give us good info but for now we'll see you guys over there we're gonna let everything dry Alright guys, so right now is 7.30 exactly in the morning. So we were working our way to the water hole and we're not there yet. When we were coming over there, there was a really fresh elk track. I think it was a lone cow. I knew it was fresh because it rained hard yesterday and the track was basically dry dirt. So we got right to the edge of the forest right here. She was better right there. She was better right there. Her urine is still fresh. And we got right there. I tested the wind. The wind was horrible. But I was like... We have to go anyway. Got right there, she went crashing down down there. So hopefully that doesn't spook any other elk. We're gonna work our way to the water hole. Opening day, this is this is deja vu. Last year before my brother and I have even got to the water hole, we already bumped a cow. So this is two years in a row where we bumped a cow before we got to the water hole. But we'll work our way to the water hole.
September 9th, day two. I uh, got a little late start today because today was pretty cold. Basically going in a little later, my idea today was basically if we're gonna go set the water hole and the wind's just blowing straight down to where the elk are gonna come up, um, that's kind of a fail. Kind of waited for the day to warm up a little bit so that the wind starts blowing uphill hopefully. Or if not, then we don't have to sit as long. Same plan, just gonna go sit at the water hole. Hopefully the trail cams are working this time and we'll see if anything came through uh, overnight or even earlier this morning. That would be a fail if something came through earlier this morning. to abandon this this spot basically this water hole uh, we're gonna go back we're gonna go camp, pack up camp we're gonna take the trail cams with us basically we're done with this spot for the season I think one of the biggest things was my trail cams they didn't take any pictures for the past month and coming into here I was heavily relying on those trail cam pictures to see basically the activity level at this water hole but I mean since they didn't take any pictures I have no idea what the pattern is um i'm just going with my gut instinct here my gut instinct says this spot's a no good so we're gonna move we're gonna pack up everything i'm gonna go get the two trail cams that's how elk season's going but again just blessed to be up here so we're gonna go and then i'll see you guys whatever happens next All right, well, we've got camp packed up. As you can see, tents, everything. Um, just making sure we're not leaving anything behind. It is so hot, who knows, the bull might have showed up at the water hole, but we'll never know. So we're gonna head back to the car. Should get there pretty quick since it's mostly downhill now. We're gonna go to the car, unload everything, and then perhaps do an evening bear hunt maybe, or elk hunt, depending on what happens, so. That's it for now. I guess I will see you guys in a bit. All right, well, we are finally settled down for the night. Right now it is 8.35 at night, it's already pitch black. So we're just gonna cook up some dinner and then we're gonna actually hike up to a new spot. We've teamed up, so we have four of us now. So we're gonna go up tomorrow, scout some higher, bigger, more vast country. We'll be up early tomorrow. We've got a long hike ahead of us, so. And hopefully tomorrow we'll have better action. That is 
Alright, well, I think we're finally getting on the right track. We busted through all that deadfall, which was a pain to get past, but, dude, we're finally finding Elk Sign. That's what we're looking for, and we're not just, we're not just finding one track. We're finding, a, like, a whole herd, like, up there. There was a, a trail where it was, like, the whole herd was being chased by something, and, like, the ground was just, like, torn apart. This entire mountainside right here is full of Elk Sign, which is good, because I think they're definitely in the area. Kong and Joe, they're just over here behind this mountain over here and this said they heard a bull bugling down in the bottom of the canyon. So finally, three days in and we're finally, finally getting on the right track. Right now it's 12.35 in the afternoon and basically we just kind of hunched down because basically we sat down uh, since right now it's 12 o'clock. I'm pretty sure a lot of animals are bedded, elk, bears, you name it. A lot of animals are probably bedded, so right now we're we're basically just, you know, relaxing. We only got four hours of sleep last night, so, you know, it's time to catch up on sleep or just kind of glass, see if we can find any bear that is not bedded for some reason. And, you know, there's small pockets here and there that, you know, you might just miss if you don't look at it close enough. So I'm just going to stay here, kind of glass the area, make sure I pick apart everything, and maybe we'll see something. So far this time, this trip, we have not seen anything besides grouse and turkeys. We haven't seen a deer, not a bear, or an elk, or even a moose. Nothing. So, we definitely need to get on the board with seeing animals at least. <laughs>